If you want to get the most out of your Notion task management system, you really need to link together your projects and your tasks. Up until recently, I was a real pleb, I have to admit. I had a separate projects and task database. So I would create a project, for example, putting together a business plan and then create separate daily tasks, which would be things like writing out the proposal, putting together different components and ultimately presenting it. Now, while this worked okay and it did help me to get stuff done, it wasn't optimal because I couldn't see how each of the tasks were related to the project and it really just wasn't the easiest system to use. Recently, I've created a a new system that automatically generates tasks whenever I create a new project and it's just an absolute joy to use. So in this video I'm going to talk you through how I built that system, we're going to build it together so you've got something really great that you can use to manage your projects and tasks in Notion. Hey you guys, how's it going? For those that are new to the channel, my name's Tom and if you're interested in using Notion to live a more productive life, you're absolutely in the right place. This is episode one of our Get Stuff Done system where together we're gonna iteratively build a really comprehensive task management system on Notion. So if you're interested in seeing the rest of the videos of this series, bang subscribe. In this video, what we're gonna talk about is how you can create a master project and master task database, how you can link them together and also how you can use templates templates and views to really get the most out of managing tasks in your day-to-day -day life in Notion. So the first thing we're going to want to do is set up a master task system in Notion. And this is gonna be where all of your different tasks live. So create a new table, calling it whatever you like, and then we're gonna to wanna to add a few properties to this table. The absolute most important thing that you're definitely gonna need is a due date. And this is the day that you're gonna be planning to do the task itself. Now, you're also probably gonna to wanna to add a status um, in the properties. You could use a checkbox. I personally prefer the Kanban way of working, so I want my task to either be to do, doing, or done. So I'll just create those in here. If you want to keep things really clean and simple, you could just stop here. I actually personally also like adding a created date just so I can see exactly when I created the task. And you also might want to add a deadline date if you often work to specific deadlines. But really how you sort of see the tasks is completely up to you and add what properties make sense to you. I should note that we're actually never gonna use this task database to put tasks in directly, which is why I'm not creating any now, but we're gonna see further along in the video how we actually start to add tasks in a much more intelligent way than just putting it directly in this database. Okay, so now we have our tasks set up, it's time to set up our projects and these are going to be like the big bad boys um, that are going to have lots of little tasks that make them up. Uh, this might be things for me, it's like creating a whole video, it might be creating a course, it might be creating a marketing plan um, and much like the task database, all we're going to do is create a new table and again add a few properties. Now, I like to keep things super simple with a project. Really, the only thing I care about is the status. And again, I'm gonna use that Kanban methodology of to do, doing, or done. I just find this works a lot better. I can pull in projects when I'm ready. I don't have this sort of strict binary checkbox, but whatever works for you, either put the status in this way or put it as a checkbox. So now we have our project and task database, but they aren't actually linked in any way. So I could create a project in here called say, create a video, and then go back into the task database and create something like write a script and edit the video. But there's gonna be no link between them. And this can become a real problem when you're managing multiple different projects at the same time. So the bit of magic that we're gonna use for this is the Notion relational database feature. And this is gonna create a link between the task database that we just created and the project database that you have open now. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just add a new property and in the property select relation and then select the task database that you created in the first step. Now let's see how this works. So I can create a project such as create business plan and add a task say research and this research task is now going to be linked to the business plan project and you can see that if we go into that master task database that we just created that the research task is going to appear in that database with the project related to it. Now let's just go ahead while we're in this database and rename that auto-generated relation property to something that makes sense for us. For me I'm going to call this big things. 
So now we have our task database and our project database linked, but for me, it's not really a usable system. It's not that intuitive to go into the project database and create tasks from there. So what we're gonna now look at doing is creating a few different views, which is gonna give you everything you need in exactly the right place, so you can really easily manage your tasks and projects. So remember when I said earlier that you weren't really going to be using that sort of master task and master project database much, um, here we're going to see why that is the case. So what Notion allows for us to do is to copy a database and then paste it as a linked database. And this is just a really useful tool because it opens up so many possibilities for us to play around with different views and really customize our workflow. So the first view we're going to set up is our board view for our projects. And what this is going to do is allow us to see the status of a project really clearly and easily. So to create this view, just go into your original project's uh, master database copy the link and then paste it as a relational database and then change the view to the board view and you're going to see that it automatically groups that board by the status. Now from here we're going to do a little bit of magic and create a template which is then going to allow us to create projects that automatically will generate tasks for us. So I'm going to create a new template and just call this project template. Then I'm going to want to copy and paste the linked database from our task database. So go back into the task database, copy it and paste it as a linked database within the template that you've just created. Now, an important thing here is we want to filter that task table. So it only shows tasks that are related to the project that we've just created. So just click filter and then make sure that the filter is set to the same name as the project template that you've just made. This means that when you come to create a new project and use the template, the tasks you create for the project are going to be automatically related to that project that you just created. Now this is all a little bit confusing, so let's just see it in action and it's going to make complete sense. So let's imagine I'm going to create a project to host a dinner party and then I'm going to add a few tasks. Let's say I want to uh, go and create the shopping list, then I'm going to want to go to the shop, then I want to cook the meal, engage in small talk with the guests and finally clean up in the future. And then what we can see is that each of these tasks that we've created is actually related to that dinner party project. And that's because we put that filter in and it's automatically created that link for us. So hopefully you're seeing the power of this project view that we can come in here, create any project that we might wish, and then put in any tasks and they're gonna automatically link back to that project. But what you're probably noticing is that we haven't got anywhere yet to see the tasks that we're gonna do. And we haven't actually assigned a due date for any of the tasks either. So to do that, we're going to use a really really great view which is the weekly plan. So to set up the magical uh, weekly plan view which is just going to be so useful for you what you want to do is copy the task database again but then paste it as a link database somewhere where you're going to want to be able to see it on a regular basis so for me I just put this on my home page. Then you need to change the view to calendar and also I'd advise changing one of the properties here. One of the properties you want to change is to be able to make sure that you can see the project. This is just really useful if you have multiple tasks that are of the same name. For example, for me, when I create YouTube videos, each video is a project and then I have tasks such as writing the script and editing. And if I didn't have the project assigned visible in the weekly view, then I'll just have a load of tasks that said edit. Now, once we've done that, you're going to see the view is still very blank. That's because the tasks that we just created from the projects view haven't got a due date assigned. So what we want to do is go into the top right hand corner of the calendar and you can see that there's that no date option and it's going to show the number of tasks without a date. And then you can really just simply drag these tasks into the date you want them and get a really good visual representation of how your day is going to look each day. And this is also where I come if I want to like use ad hoc tasks. So how I usually use this view is every week I'm going to go into my projects. I'm going to plan what projects I'm going to do that week and what tasks I'm going to do for them and then assign the task to a different day. And then as the week goes on, obviously things are going to come up. For example, I remember that I need to ring my mum, which actually I should definitely do. So I'll just add that in on whatever day I plan to do that, put call mum, and then that's there as an ad hoc task. It doesn't need a project related to it, but it's just there so I know that it needs to be done. 
The final bonus view that you can set up is what I call Carpe DM, and this is just a really easy way for you to see all of the tasks that need to be done today. It's like your action zone. It's like, okay, this is get shit done mode. What do I need to do? Where can I see it? So to set this up, again, copy that master task list. You're probably uh, noticing a theme here. Anytime you wanna set up a view for your projects or your tasks, you just need to go back to that master task view, view copy the link, and then paste it as a link database. Here, you're gonna to wanna to use a board view for the tasks, similar to how you did for the projects, but this time, select the filter and select the date to be today. And then that's gonna mean that you're only gonna see the tasks that need to be actioned today, and you can just pull them through to do, doing, done. And it's just gonna be a really great way for you to keep on top of what needs to be done. So now you've got your three views set up, and it's really up to you where you put them, where they fit in with your Notion uh, database. I like to put them all on my homepage or my dashboard, whatever you want to call it, because they're three views that I use quite regularly. But you might decide that only the Carpe DM view, the daily view, is something that you want accessible uh, at your homepage. In regards to the master task and master project database, to be honest, I just put these in a hole to die somewhere because I never end up using them and they're just something that I want out of the way. So I'll usually put them in like a, uh, like a not a trash folder, but just something that I'll, that I'll never access in the future. Now you could feasibly stop here. And to be honest, I think for 99% of people, this task management system is gonna be enough. You've got a really great way to create new projects, a really great way to have tasks associated with those projects, and also to see what needs to be done on a weekly basis and a cool way to plan your week. But if you want to get a bit more advanced, I'm going to be releasing more videos in this series where we're going to explore how we can do things like check the status of a project by how many tasks have been completed and also schedule recurring tasks. So be sure to bang subscribe if you want to be notified when I release those. I'm also going to leave a playlist here of other Notion guides that you might want to check out. But most important thing, have a great day.